Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021. I am Fredicia Liburd. The Nevis Solid Waste Management Authority Amendment Bill 2021 was passed in the Nevis Island Assembly on Tuesday, March 23rd. The legislation repeals and replaces the parent bill, the Nevis Solid Waste Management Authority Ordinance. Junior Minister of Health, the Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams, was the mover of the bill. We seek to repeal paragraph one and substitute the following paragraph. Environmental levy imposed on each visitor at a rate of three United States dollars, or eight Eastern Caribbean dollars and 15 cents. What was originally in place, Mr. President, is that 19 years ago, the fee then was 150 US, and now it is being increased to three US. It means then, Mr. President, that there is a slight increase of just $4.10 from $4.05 EC 19 years ago to $8.15 we are proposing at this time. Mr. President, 19 years ago, our tipping fees were 40 US. We are now increasing that to 48 US or 130 EC dollars. It means then, Mr. President, this is a minimal increase of just 22 EC dollars. We also seek in this amendment to increase the fees associated with industrial, commercial, and institutional waste, except special waste such as waste generated by hospitals, clinics, doctors, laboratories, both private and public, it was from 20 US 19 years ago to 24 US presently. And 24 US translates into 65 EC dollars per centum. When we look at that again, Mr. President, we see that it is only a slight increase of 11 EC dollars. Mr. President, we must make provisions for the collections of these funds. And so, in this amendment, we seek to have these increased amounts collected at the Nevis Water Department. In the past, they were collected at NEVLEC. And because NEVLEC is a statutory body or a parastatal, we, there was a fee charge for collecting this amount. And so we feel that we would want to get rid of having to pay that fee. And so we have decided to have that fee collected at the water department. And this fee, Mr. President, speaks to the 10 EC dollars which we paid in the past at Nevlek. That amount will be increased to $25. And this now will be collected at the water department, that shows a $15 increase over the past 19 years. We have been paying $10 over the years. Now we are seeking to increase it to $25, which would be collected from the Nevis water department. This $25 would be taxed on household. It is per household. And then a $75 increase is levied on businesses or commercial operator, operators, and this too would also be paid at the Nevis Water Department. Tuesday's sitting of the Nevis Island Assembly also saw Minister of Finance, the Honorable Mark Brantley, move the second and third readings of the Nevis Trust Corporate Service Providers Bill 2021. In his capacity of Minister of Tourism, the Honorable Mark Brantley also introduced and had read a first time the Nevis Film Industry Bill 2021. 
The Ministry of Health and Gender Affairs, in collaboration with the Women in Construction, hosted a non-traditional occupation for women workshop at the Gender Affairs Department's conference room. Coordinator of the Gender Affairs Department, Lorraine Archibald, spoke of the objective of the workshop. Their objectives are to create leadership programs, build awareness, provide a positive atmosphere for females to work in construction, to encourage women to share their challenges and successes in the field and to inspire others to achieve. The workshop was held under the International Women's Day theme, Women in Leadership Choose to Challenge, where Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health and Gender Affairs, Shalissa martin Clark, delivered brief remarks. This is a call to action to not accept the status quo, but instead to push for change. Today, many women are breaking down barriers to pursue careers that were predominantly occupied by men, such as construction. Women are taking up leadership role in government, in big firms and industries. I pause and take this opportunity to applaud those women in our community who choose to challenge the status quo and have taken up careers in areas that are predominantly occupied by men. I speak of the Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams and the Honorable Cleone Stapleton in politics, Mrs. Daphne Hobson, Camille Kelly, Lilith, Hanley, Architecture, Carolyn Brown, Michelle McGrath, Engineering, Rihanna Cozier, Coast Garden Welding, Cindy Wiggin, Painting and Joinery, to name a few. Some of these women operate their own businesses and are successful in doing so. The Ministry of Health and Gender Affairs supports you in your efforts as you choose to challenge the status quo. We encourage you to keep pushing for change, change which would move you forward as an individual and us as a society. The workshop was held as part of the International Women's Day activities hosted by the Ministry of Gender Affairs and a number of women on the island participated. The facilitators of the workshop included Daphne Hobson, architect, historic preservationist, Lilith Richards in architecture and engineer Carolyn Brown. Still to come, nominations for the 25 most remarkable teens now open. The details right after this break. I am Premier Mark Brantley. I will take the vaccine because being vaccinated is the best way to beat the pandemic. I will take the vaccine to protect my family, citizens, residents, and all visitors to Nevis. I will take the vaccine to protect myself, my loved ones, my clients, my co-workers, my community. For more information or to get vaccinated, visit your nearest health center. This message was brought to you by the Department of Public Health, Nevis. Welcome back. Members of the general public are invited to nominate a young person to be considered for this year's 25 Most Remarkable Teens in St. Kitts and Nevis Awards. Nominees must be no younger than 13 years or older than 19 years by the end of 2021, the nomination year. The candidates must demonstrate capacity in the nominated category and have a record of remarkable character, contributions to society, and or accomplishments. Nomination forms are available from all high schools and the respective offices of the departments responsible for youth in St. Kitts and Nevis. Submissions must be returned on or before May 28, 2021. For more information, contact the numbers on your screen. 
The Nevis Public Library is currently hosting an exhibit in observance of World Poetry Day 2021. Tisha Brooks is an employee at the Nevis Public Library. And I would like to invite you to our poetry exhibit. Here we will be exhibiting local poets and our poetry tree. We have um, poets from all over the islands in addition to um, the primary schools here. The exhibit runs from Monday, March 22nd to Wednesday, March 31st, 2021. The opening hours of the library are from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Fredicia Liebert. Thank you for viewing.